Okay, Maria back with another video, and I am not in this video because I'm kind of having a lazy day. It's Sunday, so I've decided to just kind of not really do a whole lot with myself. So, anyway, um, I was watching some videos this morning, and um, I saw one that activism care had um, regarding, I believe it was more it was narcissist, more likely to be obese or something along those lines. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm thinking about some of the perps I have, and um, I would say uh, quite a few of them are actually obese. But then, there's, of course, there's some um, perps that are, you know, are, are actually, you know, thin as rails. So, but I will say that my experience with obese people, as and also talk about my experiences, um, you know, in the past of being overweight, um, you know, I, I understand the struggles that people have when it comes to taking care of themselves. And I, I do know that a lot of women um, do feel pressured by their friends and their family um, to kind of shrug off their responsibility to themselves to take care of their, their bodies. Um, and this tends to create a lot of friction with women because um, many women feel... Um, it's very strange, okay? We live in a society that um, pretty much accepts obesity as normal. Now, I remember that back in many years ago, I mean, before I was even born, okay, throughout the course of time, I and mean, there's always been obesity, but I would say it has never been as, as, as high as it is now. I mean, I was thinking back when I was going to grade school, you might look around the playground, there might be one or two kids who are overweight. And now um, you see just about everybody um, in, the, in the schools are becoming overweight. I mean, you have different ranges, of course. You have kids who are slightly chubby, and then you have a lot of kids who are just, you know, obese. And we have accepted this as being normal, okay? And, um, and it becomes, it's very hypocritical because in my experience with women, um, they tend to demonize women who take, try to take care of themselves and then there's a lot of accusations and um, rumors that get surround, surround a person who wants to take care of themselves. And I know that this is based on hypocrisy because I've known several overweight women, even myself when I was younger. I always had a special outfit reserved for that day when I finally, you know, get to my ideal weight. I'm going to um, reserve this particular outfit so that I'm going to wear it. Because women like, you know, I'm not saying all women like clothes and stuff like that. But, you know, I do. I do. I enjoy clothes. I enjoy those things. And many women do um, because we like to feel good about ourselves. It's a part of our self-image of ourselves. And it's, it doesn't have anything to do with, um, uh, you know, being, it's not a competition, it's about being able to look in the mirror and enjoy, you know, which tours you're seeing and, and being happy about those sort of things. And I enjoy um, uh, clothes so much that I like to be nice, I like to look nice in them. And it, it, that's pretty much the way it is. And I know that when I was struggling with my weight, um, a lot of people, like when you first lose weight, you notice a lot of your friends aren't really your friends anymore, okay? And they tend to um, want to, you know, make up stories or something other than, you know, you just want to take care of yourself. I mean, you know, it's, it, we've gotten to the point where we've accepted that it's, many people accept obesity as normal. And there seems to be, they seem to be surprised when they're like, you know, in their early 50s and they drop over uh, from a heart attack because they don't see anything wrong with the way that they are. But I kind of want to talk more about the jealousy and the competitiveness and then how you're getting accused of certain things just because you want to take care of yourself, which is wrong. And I will say that um, it's, it, we have a society, just like, you know, you get a lot of people who want to align with the religion that they don't understand. You got a lot of people who um, have political views that they just accept because everybody else is accepting it. And they pretty much have accepted obesity as normal. And anybody who cares about themselves seems to be beat up and basically um, almost an outcast. So I would say that... Um, people who take care of themselves are pretty much the minority now. <laughs> so 
they're pretty much the minority now. Um, I, I don't think that, um, that's not to say that I believe that people who are obese are um, evil or anything, but I will say that, um, gosh, I'm not even really sure. If it's, a, it's very hard to say that because if you say something about obesity, people are going to think that you're saying that you're better than everyone, and that's not the case, okay? Because like I said, I've been obese too in my, in my, in my past. It's just that um, in my experience with some of the people that I've had to deal with, they find it very difficult to be happy for you. And they want to um, kind of bring you back down to their level. So they, I, I've been in, in the offices several times, like when I'm, you know, sitting at work. And then all of a sudden, like early in the morning, it could be like 8.30 to 9.30 in the morning, some girl will come over with a bag of, like, chocolates or something and offer me candy early in the morning because she might feel uncomfortable with the way that I look. And that really bothers me because... Um, everybody has to take responsibility for themselves. And it's like they, they don't want to... I, I don't know. This is a very hard video because it's like there's so much I want to say about it, but then I say, if I say something, then it, it just becomes explosive. Um, I, I'm just tired of people thinking that um, taking care of yourself is something that you should be punished for. You know, um, women enjoy clothes. We enjoy um, makeup. We enjoy those things that make us feel whole, okay? That has nothing to do with, I, I, and I've ha been accused of, because I, I like to wear certain clothes, you know, like for example, if I wear a dress or something like that, you know, people will assume or accuse me of trying to gain male attraction. Women are, don't belong to themselves, and that's what I, that's another one of my philosophies. I believe that we should do things for ourselves, it doesn't. There is no motive behind it, other than what the pleasure that it brings to ourselves. I mean, you know, women should be able to look in the mirror and enjoy what they see for their own uh, well-being, for their own spiritual enjoyment. Um, and, and that's the way it's supposed to be. I mean, we're supposed to be healthy. We're supposed to be able to enjoy life to to the fullest. Okay. And when I think of um, how people want to persecute you for, you know, taking care of the only thing that's going to get you through life. And what I mean by that is if you don't take care of your body, if you put the wrong foods in there, if you um, don't take care of yourself, you're not going to live very long, okay? It's about, you know, your overall well-being. And it, there's a lot of women that I've encountered that just don't, can't see it that way. They, they think that, you're a bad person. I mean, it, our society is so screwed up. I mean, just the way that people think, everything that you're supposed to do, you know, and if you do it the right way and you're trying to take care of yourself, you try to take care of your body, you try to take care of your appearance, the what you're supposed to do, then you're demonized and looked at, upon, looked upon as something wrong, okay? Meanwhile, while these obese women are saying these things, they're striving for the same goal, okay? So it's a hypocritical thing. It's something that women want to um, use to um, tear into somebody else, and I, and I think that's unfair, but... Um, so anyway... Um, it's a very hard topic to talk about. I think it's a hard topic to talk about because um, women can, I, I've experienced so much hostility from overweight women um, that it's, it's not even funny. It's like they think that uh, because maybe in their mind they think because it's become so common for women to be overweight that they think something is wrong with you if you take care of yourself. And that's wrong. You know, you're supposed to take care of yourself. You're supposed to be able to uh, look in the mirror and enjoy the clothes that you wear. Okay? You're supposed to be able to um, uh, fit into your clothes. Okay? You're supposed to be able to enjoy those things in life. And um, it has nothing to do with... Uh, being competitive, it has nothing to do with, now some women are like that, but it has nothing to do with um, anything other than being uh, your true authentic self and taking care of yourself. I mean, 
it, it's just very difficult, you know, to get by in this world with that sort of mentality. I mean, there's so much um, obesity that we are becoming the minority, and it's <laughs> it's almost terrifying, really. Um, but I do think that uh, a lot of obese people have a hard time being happy for other people, and they are, in my opinion, I've had, in my in my opinion, with the people that I've dealt with, and I'm not saying there aren't any good overweight people, that's ridiculous, but I'm just saying is, in the, one, in the ones that I had to deal with, they seem reluctant to um, open themselves up and be kind and sharing because they do have this, this, this belief that, um, uh, they want to be competitive, like, at all times, you know. And, you know, I think that people are um, pleasure seekers anyway. I mean, p- humans are just natural pleasure seekers. So I, I do understand. Like, when I was younger, I used to think that the only thing I really had to look forward to was that extra slice of cake, you know. It was that, you know, that donut or that, like, large pizza or whatever because I didn't enjoy life, and that was all I had. Like, I we want intensity at all times, so it's like, Sometimes food is the only sensation that you're going to experience, period, you know. And that was, I realize now that I had been, um, my my mindset was wrong. Like I, I believed or accepted a situation that was not conducive to my well-being and the way, and my goals in life. And I started to allow myself to shut out all these ridiculous beliefs and ideas that, you know, people who took care of themselves were arrogant or they were, um, something was wrong with them, you know, um, and that they shouldn't be that way. You know, I used to think if a woman was 40-something years old, you know, she should stop, you know, caring about certain things. Now, I remember seeing this a lot with women. Like, for example, you see a lot of women who, um, I don't know, some women cut their hair really short, you know, when they get, and they think that it, it's wrong to have long hair. Okay, this is just an example. I've seen a lot of white women who, who do this. They feel, I'm 40 years old, so I'm going to cut my hair. And they accept this, and they, they wear sweats, and they don't care anymore. And that's, that's their choice, okay? But I feel that women should stop feeling pressure to um, give up the things that they enjoy just so they can be friends with people who don't want what's best for them. So, anyway, this, this video is not as well as I wanted it to be, but it it did trigger my mind to some of the experiences that I've had to deal with, with obese women and their unpleasant behavior and their negative attitude on life, because I do think that they have a negative attitude on life, and it's hypocritical, because I, you know, I know that when I struggled with weight, my weight, I didn't want to, um, I never wanted to be overweight, and I never was one of those women who accepted it. I didn't, I never accepted that as normal. I don't believe it's normal. It's not normal. It's not something that is healthy. It's going to put you in the grave, like, sooner than you can even imagine. It limits your ability to um, feel good about yourself. Um, so there, it's not normal. And, just like the corruption and other negative behavior behaviors have become normal in society, obesity is another one of those things. So just like, for example, the people who got involved in my gang stalking, the people who did all of these things that were wrong, did things that were against outside of their religious views, they did all these sort of things, obesity is just another one of those horrible sins, and it is a sin, okay? Gluttony is looked down upon, even in the Bible, that uh, humans are engaging in that is going to lead to their own destruction, okay? It's not a healthy lifestyle. But um, anyway, I'm veering off here. Um, I'm just saying is you can't expect people who aren't happy with themselves to wish you well, okay? And so I would say that a lot of obese people took advantage of this situation um, because they wanted to punish me for just simply living my life, okay? Because (laughs) that's really what it it comes down to. So I'm not saying that obese people can't be trusted. I'm just saying is is that um, I'm just saying that in my experience with some of the people that I had to deal with, um, I couldn't expect them to be happy for me. Let's put it that way. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up, and I hope you have a wonderful day.